and welcome. Today we're going to bring you some fast and fascinating facts about badges in Scotland. So let's take a walk on the wild side and see what we can find. Melis Melis is the scientific name for the European badger. In Scotland, an old name used for the badger is Brock. Badgers are part of the Mustelidae family, meaning they have similarities to other animals like weasels, stoats and otters. They are nocturnal animals sleeping during the day and active at night. Living in mostly wooded areas, they make their homes by digging underground burrows called a set. Fresh bedding is collected to keep these sets comfy, clean and warm. So now you know where badgers live, but did you know that badgers are very misunderstood? The European badger is actually quite shy and timid. With that being said, in their social groups, they're extremely sociable and playful. So let's go and check them out. Badgers live in family groups called clans. A male badger is called a boar and a female badger is called a sow. Badgers have delayed implantation, which means their mating can happen throughout the year, but cubs will only be born around February, just in time to merge in the spring. Once the cubs are a few months old, they begin to explore nearby the set. To recognise other members of their clan, badgers scent mark other clan members by sitting on them and rubbing their scent from the subcaudial gland beneath their tail. Play is an important part of a cub's upbringing as they develop the skills required to be able to fend for themselves. They will learn to groom each other which helps keep them clean and maintain a strong bond. The European badger's main source of food is earthworms, although they will sometimes eat insects, berries, small mammals and even carrion. That means that the European badger is an omnivore. To forage for food, badgers use their noses and long claws to move rock and dig up dirt to locate the grubs and worms beneath. With their strong sense of smell, a badger can sniff out an earthworm up to one metre below the surface. Badgers often have large territories which can be up to 150 hectares. Therefore, habitat loss and fragmentation is a significant threat. Forestry work, new housing developments and roads have an impact on the habitats available to them. Climate change can also be a threat to badgers and all wildlife. Long dry summers mean there's less water sources and long harsh winters can make survival a struggle. Another serious threat to badgers is wildlife crime in the form of badger baiting. Badgers are actually a protected species in Scotland and were the first mammal to have a law dedicated to them, the Protection of Badgers Act. Badges in Scotland are not part of a call to prevent bovine tuberculosis as they are in the rest of the UK. Scotland is officially bovine TB free. This may be due to the tighter control on pre and post cattle movements. Badges in Scotland are looked after by a charity called Scottish Badges. They protect badges by promoting the study and conservation of badges in their natural habitat. So that was a quick introduction to Badges in Scotland. Until next time, have fun in all your badgering about. Thank mm -hmm. you.